Hello. Check. Check. Mic check. Are you doing a mic check? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Look at you, you can't even type. Shut up. I can type. Hello, Case Kane here. I'm going to give you an introduction to probability. We're going to run through a basic tutorial on understanding and finding probability, then we'll go through some real-world examples. Probability is finding the likeliness of an event to occur. Say you flip a coin, the coin can land one of two ways, heads or tails. In terms of probability, we would write this as 1 over 2, 2 being the number of possible outcomes there are, and 1 being the number of preferred outcomes. So it's really easy, but what if you have multiple sets? How do you figure out the probability then? What you do is find the probability of both, and then multiply them. So if you had two quarters and wanted to find the probability of getting heads on one and tails on two, you would take the probability of getting heads, and then the probability of getting tails, and multiply them. And what you get is the probability of that specific outcome. The probability of getting heads on one quarter and getting tails on another is one out of four. So, let's jump into some really fun, real-world examples. I know I jumped from the beginner stuff right into this, but you basically just learned all you need to know to do this. So, example number one. 20th Century Fox recently picked up the rights to distribute an independently made film called Another Earth. In this film, Another Earth literally is orbiting our own. There is a contest that the main character enters to get a free flight to this other Earth, since in the film she is indirectly responsible for the death of a man's close relative. But when she goes to apologize, she cannot bring herself to tell the man who she is and ends up befriending the man. The reason she wants to go to the other Earth is so that she can see what her alternate self would have done in this situation. And I rate the scenario for this film awesome. So what we're going to be doing here is finding the probability of her being randomly selected for this flight to the second Earth. So. Let's say that 845,956 people apply for this flight, including her. We write this as 1 for her out of 845,956. And that big number represents all the applicants for the flight. Looking at the number, she has an extremely slim chance. She is probably not going on that trip. On to my favorite example, where we observe the probability of the kill made in this Call of Duty video. Roll the clip. Good job, team. Get ready for the next yeah, round. <laughs> oh my <laughs> so let's say that while playing Call of Duty, your character's target point can rotate 360 degrees on the x-axis and 180 degrees on the y-axis. So, the probability for the x-axis will be 1 out of 360, and the y-axis's probability will be 1 out of 180. So, on paper, set it up like this. Now, this guy had a rough estimation of where his target was, thanks to his map, but he didn't know exactly where. For demonstration purposes only, we'll say that the red dot on the player's map represented a small square made up of 25 different positions where the enemy could be on the ground's X and Y axes, and that the target was in one of those 25 different positions. We could write this as 1 out of 25, and let's add that to the problem. It looks like we're ready to figure that out. So, we multiply these together, uh, And you end up with the probability of that kill. That was an amazing kill. So, I hope you enjoyed this uh, short little uh, tutorial to probability. Um, as always, youtube.com slash 7 Twitter.com slash 7 I'm Case Kane, and I am out. Peace.